Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial and in today's video we are installing Simple HUD. Let me get this down here real quick. So this is Simple HUD by Venoxity, also known as Gravity Exploits. But what this mod is, is it basically displays the location of where you're at inside the game. So this is a very handy script mod to have in your LSPDFR build and it's something I always have when I'm playing LSPDFR. And I know a lot of you guys have requested this tutorial so we are doing it today so be sure to follow along and do not skip any parts because trust me watch the whole thing you won't have any problems so we are here at the simple hud main page um actually right on the front he tells you how to install it requirements is script v you also need open ivy um for those that are actually installing this mod and are this far into lspdfr you should already be familiar with open ivy uh, especially if you're following along with my tutorials so it tells you everything you know the features of the mod and also where to get to your directory and where to place the file so asi ini uh, that's what we're going to be dragging into our directory so let's go ahead and download this mod here we're going to agree and download i know my face cam's covering it a bit we're going to go with the latest version which is 1.2.8 we're going to go ahead and hit download right there and then we're also going to download Scriptook V. So once this is done here, already got it downloading, it's gonna pop up, got it right there. So we are done with Simple HUD downloading. So we can actually X out of that. And then I have Scriptook V pulled up as well on a different monitor, but I dragged it in front of you guys here. So this I'll also have in the description for you guys. This is for version 3411. This is the latest GTA 5 version right now. Depending on the version you are on, this is only gonna work on the latest. So 3411. Let's go ahead and download it. Uh, it's going to ask me that. Just going to hit keep and it already downloaded. So we're going to also click on that and have both of these downloads pulled up. So we can go ahead and get rid of that Google tab. Next step, you need to go to your GTA 5 directory, which I already have pulled up. Uh, you should already be familiar on how to get there. I'm not going to show you guys because again, if you're modding this far, you should already be familiar on how to get to your directory, especially if you watch my how to install LSPDFR, all right? So we are at the main game directory. Our first step here is we're going to install Scriptook V. We're gonna go to bin, and all you're gonna do is drag and drop in the dinput8 and scriptookv.dll. So we're just gonna drag and drop these right into there, just like that. Now, if you're wondering how I select clicked both of them, you just hold the left control while clicking on both and then just drag and drop right in there. So I put them in, replaced them. We are done there. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. Now, the next step is Simple HUD. We're going to double click on that folder right there. We're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5 and you have these two files right here. This is the ASI and INI. The INI is like the settings menu to adjust things to your liking, but I'm pretty sure the default settings is already really good, um, which is, I pretty much leave them the same. The only things I change is the color of the HUD, which uh, I have mine as white and yellow, I believe. What we're gonna do here is take both of these files, drag and drop right into the directory, just like that. I'm gonna replace mine. If you're new to this, it'll just drop right in. Uh, we're gonna go back a page in the download we're gonna go to props and textures, and this is where the OIVs are. So we got a part one and part two. Uh, so we can actually just minimize your directory, bring up OpenIV, go to Windows, and I'm gonna do this as quick as I can, but as thorough, so you guys know what's going on here. So we're gonna click on edit mode for OpenIV, because you always want that on when you're doing stuff in here. We're gonna start with part one, drag and drop. Let that load, we're gonna hit install. We're going to install that to the mods folder. You should have a mods folder if you are this far. And we're going to hit close. And part two, we're going to drag right in. There we go. We're going to install this mods folder. Install. It says make sure to have part one before proceeding, which is what we did. Only takes a few seconds. We're going to hit close on that. We're going to go back a page in the download. And there is some add-ons. Uh, the oh, Yes. Okay. Yes, if you guys want exactly, I forgot about this, that this was in the download. If you guys want your map, your radar to look exactly like mine, this is where I get it from. So the postal map, we're gonna start here. We're going to install this. There is an uninstaller. We're going to drag and drop the install OIV for the postal map. We're gonna drag that right in. This is very cool. 
This is an awesome map. I like it. Going to hit mods, install. It's what gives it the nice like 4K satellite view of the map with all the postals on it also. Going to hit close. We had just installed that. We're gonna go back a page in the download again. Right here, this is a very, very good one. Subtitle overlap fix. For those that have uh, callouts with dialogue, sometimes the simple HUD will be on top of the subtitles and you cannot read it. So this is the fix for it. So we're gonna click on subtitle overlap fix. We're, we are going to install this OIV right here, the install one. And again, if you don't like it, you can uninstall with the OIV he has right there. We're gonna send it to the mods folder, hit install. Very simple stuff. It's literally drag and drop OIVs, install, close, really easy stuff. And this isn't only for LSPDFR. You can do this uh, mod for single player if you just wanna know where you're at. Uh, we're gonna go back here and then you have the simple HUD uninstaller if you guys want to get rid of the mod completely. Uh, but that is everything. You don't, you don't gotta worry about that. I actually forgot a step. Before starting up your build, uh, we're gonna go back to the directory. If you guys want, this is only if you want your HUD to look exactly like mine. This is what you do, is you go to your GTA 5 directory, you go on down to Simple HUD, which is right here. It's the configuration settings, the INI. You'll see a little cogwheel next to it. You're gonna double, double click on that. And then in here, we're going to change the T and the S. Uh, this is the colors to the HUD. Uh, for mine, I have mine set for yellow up here, which is S. And then for the secondary, is Y. So that is going to be white and yellow um, settings for the HUD. So that's how I have mine set. Again, you do not have to do this. This is optional. Uh, if you do, be sure to hit file, save, and then just X out. So let's go ahead, boot up GTA 5, and show off this amazing HUD to you all. Alrighty, our game has just loaded up. As you guys can tell on the bottom left, we now have our simple HUD displayed right there with the postal, with the correct colors, and that's the colors I like. And there we go. You could also look at the mini mini map. You'll see that we have a nice satellite view of everything with all the postals everywhere. If you load up LSPDFR, everything will still be exactly the same. And also this mod can be used for single player if you guys want to use it. Uh, very handy. This is a must have for police role play if you guys want to know your directions, your streets, your postals uh, to call out to grammar police, the dispatch, um, just to, you know, immerse yourself into the police role play with LSPDFR. So that is pretty much it, everybody. Thank you all for watching this LSPDFR tutorial. Really hope it helped. If it did, be sure to leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment if it worked for you if, or if you have any questions. Uh, I'll be sure to check it out. Uh, but that is it. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.